test the convergence of the given series. Now I am going to find the convergence by de Almerod ratio test. For that I have to find limit n tends to infinity of u n plus 1 by u n. So I have to generalize this term which becomes my u n. So when I generalize this first term when I have 1 n into n plus 1. So this 3 can be written as n plus 2 into n plus 3 whole square. So when I imply here also 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6. So it goes on like this. So now my mu n plus u n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 into n plus 2 by n plus 3 the whole square into n plus 4 the whole square. So I have to find u n plus 1 by u n. So when I divide this by this I will be getting so this n plus 3 the whole square n plus 3 the whole square will get cancelled n plus 1, n plus 1 will get cancelled and so now we will be getting n plus 2 the whole cube by n into n plus 4 the whole square. So when I take this n commonly outside I will have n cube by into 1 plus 2 by n the whole cube by n into n square into 1 plus 4 by n the whole square. So n cube this and this will get cancel. Now it is limit n tending to infinity of u n plus 1 by u n which is equal to 1 plus 2 by n the whole cube by 1 plus 4 by n the whole limit n tending to infinity. So I will be getting the value 1. So when my l is equal to 1 this test fails. So I have to go for my P series test. Since my L is equal to 1, I go for comparison test where my UN is this. So I have to find limit n tends to infinity of UN by VN. So I have to simplify this UN. My UN is equal to, when I take N commonly outside, I will have 1 plus 1 by N by. Here when I take N square, I will have 1 plus 2 by N the whole square. Here again I will take n square 1 plus 3 by n the whole square. So I can cancel this. I will be having 1 by n square into 1 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 2 by n the whole square into 1 plus 3 by n the whole square. Now I consider my vn as 1 by n square. Now I have to find limit n tends to infinity of un by vn. So limit n tends to infinity of u n by v n. So when you divide this by this 1 by n square 1 by n square will get cancelled and I will get 1 by 1 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 2 by n the whole square into 1 plus 3 by n the whole square limit n tends to infinity. So when I substitute the limits all these become 0 and I will get the value as 1. So my value which I get is 1 which is finite and non-zero. Since 1 is finite and non-zero I go for my P series test. So it is for summation n tending to 1 to infinity of Vn. My Vn is 1 by n square. So when I compare this with this the value of P is 2. So I get the value of P as 2 which is greater than 1. So my value of P is greater than 1. When my P is greater than 1, the series is convergent. So it says that summation Vn is convergent. When summation Vn is convergent, it implies summation Un is convergent.